ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಅಗಜಾನನ ಪದ್ಮಾರ್ಕಂ ಗಜಾನನ ಅಹರ್ನಿಶಂ ಅನೇಕದಂ ತಂ ಭಕ್ತಾಂ ಏಕದಂತಂ ಉಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಗಣೇಶ ಪುರಾಣ ಟು ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಉಪಾಸನಾ ಖಂಡ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ In the previous chapter, we have seen Namha entrusted the work of creating varieties of beings to Kashyapa, who married different daughters from Daksha Brahma, and by mating with them, he created a variety of creation, and to all his creation, to each one of them, he gave different varieties of Ganesha Mantra containing different number of syllables according to their capacity. and all those creations which include devas daityas dhanavas sarp serpents and yaksha kinnara kimpurusha all of them they propitiated to gajanana they performed severe austerity reciting the name of gajanana and then gajanana appeared before all of them in a particular form in which they were thinking of him because some of them were thinking ganesha is having four arms some eight arms some 12 arms so some each one of them were thinking about ganesha in different different forms and in whatever form they were thinking in the same form ganesha appeared before them and blessed all of them brahma continuing the story all of these having bowed to gajanana and eulogized him in this way they again addressed ganadhyaksha now we have become most auspicious our austerities are auspicious as is our generosity our knowledge our sacrifices and our ancestors are auspicious as well now our eyes have become auspicious to since we saw gajanana viradanana who was wholly satisfied with the ambrosial words of their eulogies and spoke to them in a deep voice when they were listening i have not shown this particular forum to even brahma vishnu and shiva and so forth but true my form is you without because my true form is without qualities everyone has now seen it with their own eyes i have become completely satisfied because of that eulogy and so i have come here to give boons ask for anything that you want when vikata had said this lord of the sages they then asked gajanana for whatever they wanted because of the innumerable boons nobody even with four faces can describe them in every respect therefore i have summarized them that means there were so many beings and each of the beings have asked for different kind of boon and gajanana has fulfilled all their boons so how many of them were there and how many boons they have asked even chatramaka brahma having even though having four faces he cannot explain it so he is just summarizing the boons that was given to all of them then gana gana adhisha continued the man who would recite this eulogy three times daily at each of the divisions of the day will complete all his tasks whoever would recite this auspicious thing with its eight verses for eight days but eight times on the last day will obtain eight successes that means the eulogy that was Uh, done by those beings if anyone repeats it for three times or eight times accordingly their wishes will be fulfilled he who would recite it ten times every day for a month will effect the release of a prisoner who is to be slain by a king no doubt of it and one who wants to gain knowledge will get knowledge and one who wants sons will get a son that one that man who is preoccupied with gajanana and recites it with the highest devotion will obtain everything he wants 
After he had said this, the god Gajanana, who has the lovely face and who supports everything, disappeared instantly while they are all watching. And then they made an image of Ganesha with an auspicious face. And after having set it up in a massive temple constructed with jewels, they gave it the celebrated name of Lovely Face. After having obeisance to it and worshipping it, they each returned to their own home and all the sages and people again became occupied with their own specific duties. Some gave it the distinctive name of Vantask Ekadanta, and the heavenly musicians and Kinnara set up another excellent image in a splendid golden temple, and after worshipping it in various ways, they determined its excellent name to be Kapila. Kuhyakas, these are all different tribes, the Kuhyakas, wandering birds and perfected ones, constructed another image. And after setting it up in a large temple, they bowed to it and worshipped it. They gave it the name having elephant's ears, Gajakarna, the meaning of which is obvious. By means of its power, they all went to heaven in their flying vehicle. All the humans set up one called Potbelly, Lambodara. And all the wild animals set up another excellent image, calling it as huge Mahotkata. After the worship of which they went into the forest, and after the mountains and trees had erected and worshipped another image, they named it Destroyer of Obstacles, Vignahara. Both of them stayed there, and through its favor, these mountains and trees became famous. All the groups of birds set up an image made of gold and jewel, named it Overlord of Pramatha, Pramathanatha, and Arganadipa, and worshipped it. All the snakes set up an image of Gananayaka, made an invocation to it. It became well known as Smoke Banner, Dhumravarna. All the lakes set up an auspicious image and they worshipped it in great festivals under the name of Overseer of Hosts, Dhanadhipa. The multitude of worms, insects and so on and the host of plants and trees set up an Excellent image celebrated as moon on his forehead, Bhalachandra. Other sentient beings worshipped another large image of Vinayaka in a temple of jewels. Through the power of their devotion, it became known by the designation Elephant Face, Gajamukha, and it gives all wishes to everyone. Each of these became famous in the triple world and each one came to be associated with a particular species who through the God's favor easily became experts in their own tasks. I lack the ability to relate their names one by one because I have only received a summary of how the thousand names were composed. Even its essential parts can only be described to you over 12 days as they are like the 14 jewels that appeared from the churning of the ocean. That when the churning of the ocean happened, 14 jewels have appeared. So in that way, thousand names of Ganesha, uh, each one is like a jewel. And to explain all those thousand names which in the past was explained by Ganesha himself to Shankara, in chapter 46 and to explain that it requires another 12 days to do that like the 12 14 jewels as such i have described his glory to you in a summary form 
Shesha cannot describe it at length, nor Shiva, nor can I, nor Hari. So, what of living beings from Indra to mosquitoes, Rakshas to Rakshasas? Because they cannot explain it. What even Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara, or Shesha themselves cannot explain? What the normal mortal beings can explain? O Vyasa, son of Satyavati, how could I enumerate it? Therefore, Gajanana must be worshipped in respect of all activities. An evil person who does not worship Vignavinashana, God of Gods, should be kept at a distance like a chandala. Then Vasa asked, Tell me his twelve names in order by the, by the hearing and reciting of which Everything becomes everything becomes without obstacle. Because all of them cannot recite all the thousand names, so Brahma gave twelve different names, which if repeated, which is equivalent to repeating or reciting thousand names. And Brahma told about those twelve names. Lovely face, Sumukha, One Tusk, Ekadanta, Pila, having elephant's ears, Gajakarna, Pat Belly, Lambodara, Huge, Vikata, Destroyer of Obstacles, Vigdhanasha, Overlord of the Pramathas or the Overlord of the Host. It's called as Ganadhipa. Then Smoke Banner, Dhumraketu, Overseer of the Host, Ganadhyaksha, Moon on his forehead, Jalachandra, and then Elephant Face. Gajanana, these are the twelve different names, and if repeated by anyone is equivalent to repeating the thousand names. These are also the names which was given by different beings when they constructed the temple. Whoever hears or recites these twelve names at the beginning of study at a marriage, when entering or departing in battle or distress, will not encounter an obstacle. For the purpose of stopping all obstacles, one should meditate on the gods as wearing white clothes, having the complexion of the moon and four arms. The gift in marriage of myriads of young women, myriads of sacrifices, the ignas and the vratas, all austerities, sacred foods, altars, Large amounts of gold by the thousands, a myriad of gifts, austerities of the kind called kachra or tapak apta kracha. These are the different vratas people to perform, kracha and the tapta kracha. And the vratas relative to the phases of moon, that is called a chandra kracha. Do not attain to a hundred position portion of the merit of reciting these twelve names. After rising early and becoming purified, a composed man should devoutly recite this as obstacles will not befall him. He completes all his tasks and at death attains liberation. People who see him are purified like gods. For this reason, all the worshippers of Surya, the Saura people, are Shakti, the Shaktas, Shiva, the Shaivas, and Vishnu means the Vaishnavas perform all their tasks only after they have recited these twelve names. At the Ganesha worshippers do this recording him with much higher zeal. Without, without the clear articulation of any one of the twelve, the tasks will not be completed. O Brahmin, O Vyasa, Therefore, one should clearly articulate each one. Indeed, whatever evildoers and non-believers have to do will be completed, even if unwittingly they merely affect the articulation of a syllable. In this way, I have briefly recited to you everything concerning his greatness, O sage Vyasa. 
but I have also described the various option, opinions about the results of his worship. It has been narrated to you in the same length as Vishnu narrated it, and even he did not reach the end of the worship of Ganesha, nor did he fully know the majesty of all the names of Ganesha. Brigu, who was earlier telling this story to Somakanta, he continued, I have narrated this extraordinary glory to you, O King Somakanta. And Brahma, who was very pleased, then described it to Vyasa, This is the Upasana Khanda, as I have described it to you, O King. If you have confidence in the hearing of it, I will recite yet another tale of Ganesha, which will destroy the evils affecting the Somakanta, because Somakanta was affected by leprosy, so he will be cleared of that leprosy. If he continue to hear after the Upasana Khanda, there is another Khanda called as Krida Khanda, having multiple stories there too. Then the Sutta, who was originally telling this story to Shavnakas, he told, O great sages led by Shaunaka, I have narrated the worship of Ganesha to you in the course of a sequence of many tales. Brahma had recited it to the sage Vedavyasa and Bhrigu narrated it to Somakanta for the destruction of his evil. Whoever would listen to this excellent Purana of Ganesha will, after leaving behind all his misfortunes and experiencing many bodily enjoyments, yet still in possession of sons and grandsons, intuitive and discriminating knowledge, obtain the highest liberation because of Ganesha's favor. Even after hundreds of myriads of kalpas, he will not be reborn. Whoever would recite this with great devotion will enjoy the results just described, just as was obtained by Somakanta, who was listening to it with a great diligence, obeisance to Sri Ganesha. Thus ends the last chapter of Upasana Khanda, chapter 93 of the glorious Ganesha Purana in which the twelve important names of Gajanana are explained. By repeating those twelve names is equivalent to telling thousand names of Gajanana and it will clear all their problems and it will help them as success in their venture. Let me repeat those twelve names. Sumukha, Yekadanta, Kapila, Gajakarna, Lambodara, Vikata, Vigdanasha, Ganadhipa, Dhumraketu, Ganadhyaksha, Valachandra, Gajanana. So these are the 12 names and if one repeats those names, it will help them all the success in their ventures. So let me now conclude this Upasana Khanda of the Ganesha, of the Ganesha Purana by hearing to the song, See Ganesha Kumara Pahima by Vidushi Vinata. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmira Puravasini, Tvamaham Prarthaye Nityam, Vidyadhanancha Dehimi. Goodbye. Namaskar. Ganesha Kumara Pahima Ganesha Kumara Pahima Gajamukha Ganesha Kumar Pahimam Gajamukha Ganesh 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 Kumar Pahimam 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 Gajamukha Ganesh 
कुमार पाहिम मनोरथ सिद्धिदायक मनोरथ सिद्धिदायक मामा मनोरथ सिद्धिदायक मामा मनोरथ सिद्धिदायक मामा मनोरथ सिद्धिदायक आगम पद विनूत भव श्री गुरु मोहित गज मुख गणेश कुमार पाहिम मनोरथ सिद्धिदायक आगम पद विनूत भव श्री गुरु मोहित गज मुख गणेश कुमार पाहिम पाहिम